What if there was an AI tool that could not only polish your essays and your thesis, but also suggest what to research next and where to publish it and also increase the chances of you getting that delicious research funding. <laughs> this is a tool that I think will raise the odds of you walking away with real funding for your research and experiments. It's one of my favorite tools, Thesify, and it has now got updates that I think you need to know about. Let's check it out. Thesify is quickly becoming a tool that every academic should be using. This is what they say, perfect your academic writing, submit with confidence. Oh, isn't that what we want deep down inside us, inside our oh, souls, souls whatever. whatever? Anyway, there's a load of things you can do. You can work on your essay, you can do thesis stuff. And this is one thing I wanna share with you today. This grant proposal stuff is almost like magic. It's attracting that money like never before and I think you'll absolutely love it. So when you log in, this is what it looks like. And it's this little box up here that we're really interested in. All you have to do is click or drag and drop your stuff up onto that and it will start the magical process. Let's do that. Once you've dragged and dropped something in, this is what it looks like. It walks you through the process like before. Are you the author? Yes. What type of document? Scientific paper, thesis, essay, grant proposal, and a lot of other stuff. Um, this one, uh, stay around because the grant proposal stuff is wicked. And uh, yeah, then we click, okay, scientific paper, click next, and it will talk you through the stuff. You select the things that make sense for your paper, and then it gives you feedback targeted to not only your paper, but also your field of study, which I absolutely have been impressed with and I've done this with one of my papers and once you've uploaded a document this is what it looks like in the middle you've got the document in this case it was a PDF that I uploaded on the left here this is just sort of like the file you're working with let's close that and then this is what I'm really interested on this side we have all of the things that really make this tool powerful the first thing is the feedback so you get all of these different drop down accordions with valuable feedback for making your peer-reviewed paper perfect and we get a summary what worked well what can be improved the overall assessment and uh, we can close that we've also got title and abstract this is new you can also get detailed instruction on how to make your title and your abstract better. If you want to know what something does, just hover over the little icon here and it tells you exactly what it does. So this rubric provides an overall assessment of your abstract and your title. Yes. And then we've got introduction can be improved. Oh, come on, Stapes. You could have improved this. Anyway, this is a submitted and accepted paper. So too late for that. But if you ask uh, pre-submission, this is all of the valuable information that you can use to make your uh, work better. Now, down the bottom here, you have now got the ability to work with Theo, which is this little robotic cat. <coughs> or how would a robotic cat sound? Like, beep, 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 meow, something like that. Anyway, you've got this, and now you can say, okay, well, what did I not do? Okay, purpose can be improved. So here I'm just asking, how should I improve my purpose? And then I can go away. Theo has the document. It has the rubrics that it's working with. It's got the summary of all of the responses it's given you. So it can give you targeted advice for making your paper better. And uh, it will go away and think. And then down here, you can start a new conversation. This is where all of your conversation history is. And then we can also explain sport chat so you can work with it offline and there's another little thing that I think you'll love in a minute around that so here we are this is the next steps we can see that this is what Theo recommends I should do it gives me targeted actionable advice for my paper yes absolutely love that okay so let's get rid of this okay bye Theo Bye, mate. Okay, see ya. There we go. Bye, Theo. And then uh, we've also got a load of other tabs at the top that are super valuable for academics and researchers. You get a digest, so you can find a summary. What are you actually saying? You've got keywords. This is important if you're submitting to a journal. You can just take these keywords and put them in the keywords that they want. Um, and then we've got the main claims that you're making, so you can get an oversight just to make sure that your paper actually says what you want it to say, because these are the take-home messages that people will get from your paper and then also we've got more things we've got opportunities look at this research questions these are questions you can explore after this paper all of these things really good resources this is really cool so publications these are publications you should know about look there's me thank you very much yeah 
that's exactly the paper I'm working on actually. So I'm pleased it found it. Um, and then we've got all this other stuff that I should know about. You can add it to your collection, which means that then you can look at it later in the collection tabs at the end. Um, and you've also got journals. Where should you submit this paper? It gives you a match with impact factors. So you can go to your supervisor and say, look, I think these are the places I should publish this work. Um, and it does really well. These are exactly the places that I'd be looking at to publish this work. Impact factors too high for this paper but nonetheless it gives me an idea of where I could submit. Um, conferences, we've got conferences where I can go and talk about this work and then grants at the end, grants are all of the grants that potentially could uh, be valuable for me to apply for based on the work that I'm presenting here. So just so much super valuable awesome stuff and the good thing is is if you got yourself a little bit of the old ADHD in you you know just bubbling underneath where you can't really concentrate if the internet is open in front of you like me um, you can also export all of this feedback in a PDF which means you can work on this paper offline and uh, it just gets you away from that screen so yes love it but this tool can now help you get real research money by interrogating your grants in a way that I've never ever seen before. Yes, let's check it out. Let's say that you're working on a grant proposal because you need money to eat and survive in this world apparently and do research. So here we go. After we've uploaded a grant, we can also get very targeted advice about that grant. So I took a successful grant that I found online and it gives me feedback to make sure that I am addressing all of the appropriate things which are going to impress a funding body. So here we get feedback. Let's collapse this. We got feedback over here and there we go, let's expand that. Oh, we like that, we can see it all now. Um, here we get feedback summary. So what did I do? Well, this is the overall assessment. This is the components assessment. We, these are things that I haven't got in the uh, grant, which I like to know, obviously. And then we've got superfluous components. Oh, that's good to say, superfluous. Anyway, these are the things that maybe I'm going too much detail in, which would essentially bore someone if they're going through hundreds of these sorts of applications. And then we get here, feedback on the title. Yes, we like that, so let's close this. We get background, goals, methods, impact, partners. So it gives you all of the targeted information for your work to make sure that you are more likely going to get that uh, research grant to keep you uh, oh, let's have a look, power toys. Oh, I did a video on that recently, go check it out. All right then, so this is really great. All of this stuff and the same things apply. So you can do all of the same powerful things that you can do with a paper draft in a grant application as well. You can ask Theo some questions and follow up and also you get all of this. Opportunities, what are some research directions you may want to consider exploring? You get resources, you get collections as well if you find stuff in the publications bit. You've got journals, conferences and other grants that you could apply for but ultimately this is a tool that allows you to make sure you are putting your best foot forward and giving you the highest chances for getting that research funding and you're saying to yourself oh Andy it's probably really expensive isn't it well look these guys have actually said 4.99 euros a month which I think is absolutely fair because some AI tools out there are charging like 30 US dollars a month and aren't providing as much value as these guys. Because, you know, who do they think we are? Like real people with money and lives. And it, what's this thing? Disposable income? What on earth is that? We're PhD students. Ah, show me the noodles. <laughs> So I'd love for you to head over to Thesify, go check it out for yourself because I think it is trying to position itself as an absolutely invaluable resource, an AI tool for academic and researchers and oh, they're doing such a great job. Love it. Go check it out for yourself. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about the 100% free academic AI tools that you need to know about. Yes.